Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Purple Potting Shed. Now I've had some really exciting posts and I thought what I would do is just do a little bit of an unboxing video to show you all the spring bulbs which I have cheated myself to. Um, they are just one of my favourite things to grow. I'm so excited to show you all the varieties which I've chosen because what I decided to do this year is to start completely afresh. The compost in the trough which I grow my tulips in is actually four years old so it's lacking the nutrients and it probably should have been changed quite a while ago now. Um, but last year I got a disease called tulip fire and all my tulips came up and they were deformed and they had these brown markings on the petals and they just looked horrible and I was so absolutely gutted because obviously bulbs they're not cheap um, and I just had such high hopes for my tulip trough and they all came up looking a bit horrible so yeah I wasn't very happy with that um, but what I'm going to do this year is take the compost out, um, put some new fresh compost in which is packed full of nutrients um, and plant all of my new bulbs into there. Now I call it the tulip trough but it sort of evolved into the tulip, narcissus and ranunculus trough um, and it's just an old water trough which you would find on a farmyard and when I got it I drilled some holes in the bottom but what I might do this year because bulbs really like good drainage is I might add a layer of grit along the bottom and then put some fresh compost on top of that um, but yeah anyway <laughs> let's get on to the bulbs um, now I tend to plant these out around middle of November and it's best to actually plant bulbs out after you've had a first frost because the frost will kill off any diseases which are in the soil um, We've had a first frost already and I don't know, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. People were saying we're supposed to have a really hard winter this year, so we'll see anyway. But let's have a look inside. Um, I buy my bulbs from Peter Nyson and they always put this really handy spreadsheet in the box and it's got a list of all the bulbs they sell and then where they need to be planted sun semi shade shade um, the spacing and also the depth which is so so handy so what I might do is hang this up somewhere in the shed because it's just one of those things which you can just look back on every single year um, so yes let's have a look now I didn't just buy tulip bulbs, I did treat myself to a few more other bulbs. It's hard not to be tempted when you go on this website. Um, and what I was going to do is I was going to go to the Malvern Autumn Show and buy my bulbs. Um, but I was in Wales and it would have cost me about £30 in diesel to get there. And then it would have cost me £20 to get in and then I would have bought the bulbs and so I just decided to sit at home on the farm instead and buy the bulbs so I did I did end up saving money if you think about it <laughs> but anyway I bought some alliums now I grew alliums for the first time last year they were absolutely beautiful and oh I'm just I love them there's actually some drying here um, they were purple gigantium, they grew to about 120 centimetres um, and I loved them and I've got two sets of three clumps in front of the trough um, at the back of the flower border. So I treated myself to a white variety called Mount Everest. So I've actually bought six of them, again I'll plant them in two clumps of three. Um, next to the purple variety just to create that nice border along the back of the flower bed um, and also to create a nice little barrier in front of the tulip trough if that makes sense um, so yeah really looking forward to growing these white varieties they grow to about 90 centimeters as well which is perfect now another sort of new thing um, is crocus and I grew a very small handful of them in a pot um, because I think I bought like a bag of five 
or something ridiculous like that from a garden center last year um, but they just add that really nice pop of color in the winter when everything's looking a bit bleak and miserable and i remember it snowed yeah earlier on in this year and their crocus you know they just looked really nice amongst the snow so i've actually bought um 50 of each variety can't find them now yeah i bought 20 uh, 25 i bought two bags of 25 of one called spring beauty and it's a pale blue with bits of purple and silver white in it and i also bought a variety called cream beauty which is obviously a creamy white color and i thought they would complement each other really really nice and what i'm planning to do is to plant them in the trough uh, so they're layered above all the tulips and the narcissus so they will flower before the tulips and narcissus flower um, and like i said they're just add that little pop of color when you need it in in the depths of winter so yeah there's 50 each of those two varieties and then i also bought some ranunculus again these were a thing which i grew for the first time last year but oh i think i just fall in love with everything that i grew <laughs> but um yeah i was a little bit hesitant about growing ranunculus because i heard they were quite hard to grow um so what i did is that all the spare ones which i didn't plant out in the trough i popped in some pots in the greenhouse um, and then the ones that didn't grow in the trough i just replaced them with the ones from the greenhouse so it did work out pretty well um, but i bought this really cheap mixed variety from some diy shop um which it was perfectly nice but every single color every single flower which bloomed was a bright pink color um and i mean I, I do like pink there's nothing against pink but it would have been nice to have had some yellow and orange and <laughs> some of the other colors um but anyway i treated myself to some more varieties so they're just aviv rose and aviv white so it's just a pinky and a white variety and there's 25 of each so they'll be going in the back of the trough um let's do narcissus next leave the tulips till last um i've always been a little bit i don't know i've not been that fond of narcissus um, and i don't really like the traditional looking daffodils um, so I chose some more unique varieties to grow last year um, and loved them. So I have bought some more, but I'm not too sure where I'll be putting them. I'll probably plant the, these new varieties in the trough and then move the ones that were in the trough because they didn't suffer from the tulip fire. I'll probably plant them um, around the allotment somewhere. I will find room for them. Anyway, the new varieties which I've chosen is Narcissus Yellow Cheerfulness, um, which is a nice pale yellow um, and it's multi-headed. And I grew the variety Cheerfulness last year. Well, no, I keep saying last year, but it was this year, but I planted them last year. Anyway, I grew the Cheerfulness variety and they were so petite and so beautiful. Um, and I needed a little bit more yellow in my collection so I just went for the yellow variety of the cheerfulness um, but yeah they're the blooms are so delicate and oh, they're lovely there's also Narcissus sweetness and this one is a little bit more traditional but <laughs> I kept picking varieties which were white um, and I wanted to just break it up a bit, which is why I chose this one and, and the yellow cheerfulness one. Um, because, well, they're both yellow, obviously. But the sweetness is just um, a bit more traditional looking, but very, very bright yellow. There's also Narcissus Bell Song, which is a white variety with a pink trumpet. I don't think I need to say anything more about that one just sounds dreamy already 
and then the last Narcissus is Sir Winston Churchill um, yeah the name basically drew me to it but it is a double variety um, which I just I love with Narcissus and with tulips I love the double varieties um, and it's a white with a, an orange yellow center so they're the Narcissus like I said I'll probably plant them in the trough and move the other ones to a new home so on to the tulips <laughs> um, these are all actually I think I've, I've grown one or two of them before um, but I wanted to go for a sort of theme and I really really like these sort of vintagey tones um, and I think what started off was me growing La Belle Epoque because that's just the dreamiest tulip ever and I do actually want to buy some more of those bulbs but um, Peter Nyson were sold out so I need to hunt some down because I do want to grow them um, but yeah I sort of try to stick to a nice theme so when I cut them they'll all go quite nice together um, but on the other hand, I also wanted them to be a little bit different. It sounds odd, but um, it's it's all in my head anyway. <laughs> so there's 10 each of these and there were 10 each of the Narcissus as well. So there's Tulip Apricot Pride, which is a pale apricot pink with a soft white edge. Um, no, I don't think I've grown that one before. There's also Tulip Evergreen, which is green. And that's exactly what drew me to it. I, I really love green flowers and I grow um, green zinnias as well. I don't know why, I just, I like flowers which are green. And I think also the greenness of the tulip will stand out so nicely amongst all the other tulips. There's also Tulip Artist, which is a tulip which has an array of colours. Uh, there's pink and purple and orange. Um, and I suppose it's a little bit like the La Belle Epoque, um, but it's not double, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I, just, I like all the tones. Tulip Spring Green, which is the one variety I think which I've grown before, um, but it's a must have now because it just goes with everything and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's white with like a green sort of stripe up the middle. It's really, really nice. And it does go with lots of other flowers which just look really nice. Then there's Tulip Orange Princess, which is a double variety i love them just like the la belle epoque um, and it's a bright orange with some hints of red and purple in it um, and i chose this one because i wanted the la belle epoque which was a double and then i thought oh, i want another double one <laughs> it took me ages to pick the tulips because well i probably overthink it a bit too much but i just want them to go together all oh, nice how many more do we have here i think there's just this one yes tulip purple crystal now this is a really deep rich purple um but one of the reasons why i chose it um was because it has a frilly edge to the petals which i just think looks really really nice and again it's a little bit more different um, and also the purple will link in with some of the purple tones on the artist bulb and also the La Belle Epoque if I ever get any bulbs. I hope I do. Um, but yeah, there's 10 each of them. I'm so excited. Like I can see it all blooming in my head already. I'll pop all the bulbs back in and I'll quickly just show you the plan. It's in my notebook. So this is the bulb trough plan for 2019. 
So this is the back of the trough and that's where my four rows of ranunculus will go. And then there will be six rows of Narcissus. So there will be three different varieties in there, but two rows of each. And then there is going to be, I should have counted this before. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rows of tulips here. Is it fourteen? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, fourteen rows of tulips. If I can get my hands on some Labelle in bulk tulips, that is. Um, and again, there's two rows of each variety there. <sighs> I'm so excited so excited because it's just that time of year when everything's starting to die back now but you've got that hope of spring is just around the corner um so yeah i have a huge task ahead of me to to do before i can plant my bulbs out um, i need to empty out all the compost and refill it but um I really hope you enjoyed seeing what bulbs I'm, I'll be planting out and I would love to know any of the bulbs which you've chosen to plant out and if you have any recommendations or any favourites that you'd like to pass on as well. Um, I just lo I love to know what you guys are growing as well. Um, so yeah, the sun's going down, the sky looks absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. But it's start starting to get chilly so I'm going to head home and hopefully at the weekend I'm going to start emptying that trough so I can get my bulbs in. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.